new dreams and passions. It brings new ideas and perspectives. It brings new challenges and obstacles. What we wanted to be then has shaped who we are now. Hello everyone, and welcome to Now and Then, the show where we explore between the dichotomy of what we wanted to be when we were younger and what we want to be now. And I'm your host, Matt Donaldson. And with me today is Christian Duvel, a physical therapy major. Why don't you tell me a little about yourself, Christian? Well, I'm 18, first year in college, still going through it. Um, it's been pretty awesome here. And yeah, right now I want to be a physical therapist and that's my goal right now. So exactly what was it about Fullerton College that made you want to come here? Fullerton, uh, basically the location. The location's really close to my house, really easy to get here, my house and back, and the prices are really nice here. It's unbeatable. So exactly what was it that made you or inspired you want to become, to become a physical therapist? Um, basically some, some of the guys at Hope University. I went to a a college tour in high school my senior year and uh, they really opened my eyes to becoming a physical therapist and I was like why not it looks fun and it's cool they convinced me hmm. so would you have say <coughs> is it safe to say that your passion for physical therapy has it grown since then oh yeah definitely at first I was kind of just like oh, I don't know what I want to be I don't know if I really want to be this but then once I talked to them they kind of for sure, for sure, did in me and like really um, fully convinced me to mm. go for. So before physical therapist, what was your original career option? Um, before physical therapy, I've always wanted to be a professional skater. I mean, before me, it was my dad. He was a professional skater. He was sponsored by Vans, and the life was nice. And I was like, dude, I, I want to be. That's what I want to do. So for the longest time, that's what I wanted to pursue: professional skating. So what are some goals that you have set in the process of obtaining becoming a physical therapist? Um, I need, some goals for me is I need to be more, more convinced, or more, um, what is it? More determined and just more um, willing to work and get over my laziness, I'm just trying to push through and gotta do what I gotta do. Hmm. So what are some strengths that you feel that you personally bring to the field of physical therapy? Some strength, I believe that I would bring some more joy and happiness, just more uplifting spirits into uh, the physical therapy realm because I don't want to be one of those doctors or therapists that go from point A to point B and that's the rest of the day. Like I just want to make, make my career enjoyable and also for my patients. Hmm. So you said that you really want to focus on making sure, I guess, have your patients, they're comfortable also too? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so what are some weaknesses that you feel that you should work on? Well, definitely, I'm still in the process in college, still learning, um, learning about the body and the muscles and the bones. So still just need to finish out with those courses in class and make sure that I know them well so I can become a physical therapist someday. So if there were someone who was trying to follow the same footsteps that you were, what would be some advice that you would give him? Definitely just be determined, just be open-minded. Christian, I'm going to need you to hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. We will be right back after this commercial.
Welcome back to Now and Then, the show where we get to the roots of our students' aspiration. I'm your host, Matt Donaldson, and with me I have Christian DeVille. So Christian, exactly what was it that made you want to become a physical therapist? Well, mainly I've always inside of me, I've always wanted to help people as maybe a career and just because when I help people, it makes me feel better and it just a lot of happiness and it's what I like. But mainly it was the two two guys at Hope University. I forget I forget um, their names right now, but they uh, really opened my eyes to how they can help when I'm in physical therapy. How it helps people and makes it more enjoyable. Hmm. So when you begin to conduct your practices later in the future, <coughs> is there a certain age group or demographic that you plan on trying to target? Yeah, definitely more like the high school range because I think I'll be able to connect with them better and than any other age range because maybe I can start off at like a high school like trainer or something like that because I know they missed they were missing that at my high school so I was like hey you know might as well. Hmm. So do you plan on opening your own practice or potentially being, you know, like a trainer one day? Um, either or. Um, mainly it would be nice probably to have my own little set up company and stuff and but if that doesn't work out I'm more than happy just to join somewhere and be as much help as I can. So what are some things that you see in the physical therapy field that you feel should be changed or that you plan on trying to change once you um, definitely just more uplifting spirits just make it just make it more fun for the workers and the patients hmm. so do you feel now in the field that a lot of doctors are very just kind of dry almost to say yeah definitely hmm. so do you feel that patient and doctor interaction do you feel that that's really important yeah definitely do you want your patient to come back to you and um, just to feel confident in you and just with the doctor or therapist being nice to them and comforting like it'll make them want to come back or just trust in you more hmm. so with your practice that you plan on opening one day do you plan on staying local or would you like to venture out and kind of spread your wings um, probably definitely just have to be local just know my surroundings and help help around the city and you know anywhere here pretty local I guess hmm. so upon coming to Fullerton College what were some goals that you had set for yourself um, well coming here I definitely set a goal of uh, getting through my general ed first and then start going into my major courses to get ready for that so yeah definitely that's that was my number one goal going here so are there any schools in particular that you want to transfer to to continue on pursuing physical therapy? Yeah, definitely Cal State Fullerton is also pretty close, and their program is really good over there. And obviously Hope University, where I was really influenced over there. So if that opportunity comes up, I'll definitely be able to take it if I can. <coughs> so how, do your, how does your family and your friends feel about you wanting to pursue physical therapy? Oh, they love it. My my family's behind my, behind me 100%. I mean, they love the fact that I want to help people, and that being a career is just even better. Hmm. So do you know of any people personally that are in the field of physical therapy now? Yeah. Um, I have a basketball teammate I used to play with. Um, his, his dad was actually a I'm sorry to cut you off here. Yeah. That's the all we have for tonight, unfortunately. Thank you, Christian, and I'm your host, Matt Donaldson, and this has been Now and Then. Good night. Yeah, so I hope this tape was good. I really do. <laughs>